Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And when we last left off, we're here inside the uh, detective's quarters. And we're going to take the valve handle. You're going to have quite a few zombies that you're still going to have to kill. We don't really have a ton of ammo right now. Now, this guy on the floor here, you can't really see him. He's faking. He's not really dead. I'm trying to shoot into the hallway there. Don't really have a lot of bullets either. I do believe he's dead. Alright, now behind the desk here there is a, another herb. So we're going to have to combine some of those. We need room. Two inventory spots will serve you well in this area because you're going to have some more handgun ammo and some shotgun shells to take. It's safe here. We know the combination because it's the same as the first scenario. So two, two, three, six. Get some shotgun shells. Yay for shells of shotgun in the precinct map. Okay, now that we have the valve handle, we can actually uh, leave. There are some ink ribbons in here. They're not important. And we're just going to get out of here. Heat. Alright, so. Now where do we go? Well, you can either go... I'm going to double back to the storage room real quick. Do I need to? I don't think so, actually. Um, no, I don't. Alright, so that's great. Find out this guy's been pecked to death. And if we don't want the same fate, I recommend you run the fuck out of here. Run away. Oh yeah, evaded them stupid crows. Ah, ah, fuckers. Oh, Leon. Leon's like the badass of Resident Evil. Everybody loves Leon. He got his own CG movie. He's getting another video game, which is actually more a remake of 2, from what I understand, than a continuation of the storyline. And, and that, you know, I got a, I got a little gripe with that, because I think out of all the Resident Evils, I think 2 is one of the best ones. And I don't really think there was a reason for them to to remake it. You know what I mean, guys? So if you go uh, search the cockpit, you can get some more shotgun shells. And what's this? A sleigh with a tiny reindeer? No. T-O-O. -O. What, what do you think that means? Duh. Whoa. It's the Matrix guy. Nope. Close. And he looked right on the other side of this door. Gee. I wonder if he's friendly. <coughs> I'm thinking not. Because uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have just barred the door. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the gimmick of the second scenario. The tyrant. Just run past him, because unlike in 3, he will not follow you. And the next time you come back, he won't be there either. Oh, these liquors are still here. Hmm. Maybe they only go away on Claire's scenario, because they know she has the bow gun and it fucking sucks. Anyway, we gotta organize some inventory. We're gonna need some room. So let's get rid of the valve handle. Let's get rid of that herb. Let's get rid of that herb. Let's get rid of the handgun. Let's get rid of that. Shotgun, shotgun shells, healing item. We gotta take on these liquors, and sometimes they can be a pain in the ass, these two. Because they're usually not in a very, um, friendly position, if you wanna call it that. I 
missed. What's going on here? Oh boy. Fuck, how many bullets did I waste on those things? You know what, we better heal because there's going to be another one that we're going to have to kill in a minute. I thought the bowgun was worthless. I wasted... Wait, at least five shells on those and they shouldn't take more than two shotgun shells. Man. Either my aim was off, I don't know, but it looked like I shot that one that was on the wall, like, point blank. Who knows, right? Do I suck that much? I don't think so. So anyway, we need to go into the storage room over here. There's a couple things that are important here. Well, not really necessarily important, but there's a couple things nonetheless. Ink ribbon and the thing over there, the vase. There's some shotgun shells over here in the corner. Very important. Sparkly sparkle, which is always important, which is the key card. And there's nothing else we can do in here, but as we try to leave, this comes in. Another liquor. Oof. That's where he gets his name from, by the way. His ginormous tongue. I'm actually just gonna run past him because I don't fit fucking around with him. We don't really have a lot of healing items, and if I accidentally get hit, that wouldn't be good. Alright, so now we can just reorganize our inventory because there, there aren't any more liquors that I can remember. Doesn't mean there aren't, it just means I don't remember them. Um, so let's get rid of shotgun for handgun, bullets for shells, or the other way around actually. And let's take this key card. We know where to put this thing, don't we? <laughs> uh, meh. No, that's not right. Don't be, don't be saying that to poor Leon. Um, you know what? I should have went and got the spade key first. Okay, so we're going to use the key card on the computer, and it unlocks all the doors. Now you notice the uh, library opens up too. Not that that's, you know, surprising. Um, you know what, let's go get the spade key, because we're going to need that. And let me go do a little bit of a side jaunt here, while we don't really have a ton of time left. We need a small key. We're gonna go get an upgrade. Yeah, Leon gets upgrades, man. Nobody else does. Claire gets nothing. A fucking bow gun, which is worthless. And a grenade launcher, which sucks even more. Or just as bad, because they both arc. You know, arcing weapons are no good. So take spade key, small key. We're gonna head into the library. If you guys are familiar with his A scenario, we're going to the same place. Uh, but you can't go... Um, the spade key, I think, only opens one door. I think that other hallway on the second floor is actually unlocked already. I could be wrong. Now, when you come in here... The zombies come through this hallway here. If you had the, um, uh, if you put the wire over it, you would actually see a short circuit and the uh, shutters come up. But since we didn't bother with that, since it really doesn't do much good, we obviously see that happening. Alright, 
right, we're going to take the handgun parts and we're going to leave. Yeah, we well, might as well take this lone red herb right here. Combine the handgun with the handgun parts and you have the custom handgun, which is like a little bit burst. It shoots three bullets in rapid fire. It's good for mowing down groups of zombies. And even liquors in single group. In single group, yes. If you have a group, that's only one. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to stop this video here. Thank you for tuning in. This is Resident Evil 2 Leon's B Scenario.